Welcome back. Joining me now is Program Coordinator for Volunteer Income Tax Assistance, or VITA, Teresa Jackson. So Teresa, let's start with exactly what VITA is. Um, VITA, as you said, is the Volunteer Income Tax Assistance Program, and we provide free tax preparation for working families, working individuals, those who are age 60 or older, um, those are, who are differently abled, um, as well as those whose English is not is not their first um, language at home. Uh, we provided over 2,200 free tax returns last year, which brought back over $4.5 million back into the Low Country. So that is a lot of money coming back into the pockets of working individuals and families in, in our communities. And this is money that can go into savings, pay off bills, um, and that's spent back into the local economy. So it's really important. Um, our volunteers, I mean, that's the backbone of what it is that we do. Our, our volunteers um, consistently you know, show up every year and they will say that uh, their taxpayers are, are friends that they get to see you know, once a year, every year, so. Well, it is a fabulous program, and as you mentioned, it is clearly supported by volunteers. So are you always looking for more volunteers? We are always, always looking for volunteers. Again, the, the volunteers are the backbone of our program. It's called the Volunteer Income Tax Assistance Program for a reason. And the IRS actually started this program to ensure that taxpayers are receiving back all the money that they're eligible for. So um, the volunteers are really vital and crucial to this program. And do volunteers need to have special qualifications or experience to join you? No, all they need is a desire to want to help. Um, clearly, if they have an interest in doing tax returns or if they have an accounting background that is helpful, but it's not necessary. We provide uh, the training, the certification, and, um, and even if that is not an, of an interest to them, they can be a greeter at the site. Um, possibly they have some um, experience with technology. They can do some computer or printer troubleshooting. Again, it's just if they have a desire to help, I'll find something for them to right. do. Lots, lots of different tasks that need to be done. That's right. So how um, does the training work and when does it take place? Um, most of our returning and even some of our, our new volunteers feel very confident in order to do the online training and certification. However, if they'd like a little bit more hands-on, we do have an in-person training um, that will happen in January. Um, the dates will be set here soon. And that uh, in-person training is um, facilitated by our IRS representative that has worked with this VITA program for the last 10 years. She's an extraordinary teacher. She knows what she's doing. And um, so anybody coming in can feel very confident knowing that they're getting the uh, appropriate training and certification to do the tax returns. Wonderful. And if somebody would like more information on how to be a volunteer, how, should they, how can they find that out? And are you looking for volunteers in all areas or specific areas? The VITA program actually, um, we, the Low Country VITA Coalition, actually serves seven different counties. So not only Beaufort County, so of course we're looking for Beaufort, Bluffton, and Hilton Head volunteers, okay. but we also serve Jasper, uh, Hampton, Colleton, Allendale, Barnwell, and Bamberg. So if anybody knows of anybody in those counties who might be interested in volunteering, definitely please, please have them contact me. Well, it is a wonderful program. Thank you for what you're doing. And make sure if you would like to volunteer with this great program, you get in contact with them. Thanks for being with us, Teresa. Thank you. Thanks to all of my guests for being a part of the show today. Thank you to my wardrobe sponsor, SM Bradford Co. & Currents, for keeping me in style. I couldn't do this without my production team of Gustavo Ratia, Jeremy Pope, Litia Nelson, and Wayne Morris. And most importantly, we thank you for making us a part of your day. I'm Betsy McDaniel, and we'll see you next time for the Bluffton News.